More inline spinners at Bethany, March 12, 2013. Headed out to Bethany after work yesterday and uh, used our initially our inline spinner that we make, the uh, Purple Woolly Rooster Martin. Fortunately, we lost it. Then we lost another and another uh, to some snags. So we tied on a rooster tail. In this case, it's a chartreuse one eighth inch. And in this uh, instance, it uh, foul hooked that first bass. So we kept at it, and uh, it turned out pretty good. We're getting some good hits off the chartreuse rooster tail, mostly in the shallow shallows, and fairly consistent uh, action. Steady retrieve. They would hit it. Um, just bring them right in. And this one, again, was fairly close to shore, maybe about uh, 20 feet, 15 feet. And big thing is, is it's only maybe a foot deep, foot and a half where we're casting. This one's a little bit bigger. Hit on that chartreuse uh, rooster tail, uh, one eighth inch. Had to play it a little bit on four pound test and a light drag. So uh, we sure didn't want to lose this one. Not bad. Now we're going to let him go. So we uh, fished some more and uh, ended up getting uh, hooked or snagging a uh, tree limb. Uh, so we switched, had to break off actually, and switched over to another rooster tail. In this case it was a orange, short, or, uh, orange uh, 1 16th ounce and got a hook run on the first cast after tying that one on. This next one's, um, I'm trying to remember, but I believe this was a little one. little one. And another little one. So we worked the shoreline, came around um, had to the uh, other end of the, the main pond, started fishing by the concrete wall, and got a hit. Or actually it was on our way to the concrete wall, and got this one. This next one was a uh, over by the concrete wall. Not bad. Till next time, good luck and good fishing.